Well, everybody, this is Angelo Quinones, and you reach I Am Ministries. I Am Ministries is designed to give you dependable and accurate answers that come straight from God's holy and forward to Bible. And again, my name is Angelo. Now, I wanted to comment on a commentary of the article done by Dan Wallace, and I disagree with the great Greek scholar Dan Wallace in one point of discussion, or a few points, but in one point in particular, when he said that the article, now this is going to be part two, meaning, um, the, uh, you know, uh, Matthew chapter two, and and the debate, okay, um, whether, you know, the Lord could have said something in a dream, the angel of the Lord, meaning the messenger of the Lord, uh, a logos or lagos uh, appearing to uh, Jacob uh, or Joseph, actually, rather, you know, in a dream. Whether you know he could do the two at the same time, so you know, exists. I was gonna say subsist, but <laughs> actually, is in the womb is subsisting anyway. So, but exists in the in the womb in the gastri of Mary, right? And at the same time, do something. I have a very, 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 very great argument, okay, against Dan Wallace at the point that it, that it shouldn't even be in discussion. Shouldn't, shouldn't even be in discussion. Uh, let me bring it now, okay, and then I'll get it to this angel of the Lord appearing to uh, this woman uh, in the Old Testament. Let me get into it now. The reason why it shouldn't even be a debate is because it says in uh, John chapter 1 verse 3 that uh, uh, all things were created, okay, hru, okay, dia, and it's, it's an elision over there, uh, uh, delta iota with a, with a, with a, with a, with a, uh, an apostrophe. It's called an elision in Greek. And so, Logos or Logos is the intermediate agent of creation. He is the agent of creation. He did create, according to um, the word that 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 God the Father used. That that uh, uh, that uh, the foundations were created by by His hands. Okay, so He did create, and uh, He created all things. Panta. Ta panta, he hear all things. So it shouldn't even be an argument that, um, well, the, can you know Jesus at the same time? Forget about creation for now. Can um, which is which is more harder to do? I'm gonna I'm gonna you know talk like Jesus our Lord right now. Uh, you know, uh, you know which is which is easier for for someone to do. Okay, speaks to somebody in a dream or or actually create. Okay, so pick your choice. That's a, that's a toughie right there. But the thing is that since he created panta, all things. Okay, uh, pant is the stem there of panta, uh, and so that's just the deal. He made all things. He created all things. Catesis is found and recorded in Colossians chapter 1 uh, verse 15 Dan Wallace is not arguing with, with, with all those points that I'm bringing up right now what if he is saying that it should be uh, that is an interesting interesting discussion it shouldn't even be a discussion because if he couldn't okay check this out if he could not uh, if he could not even go to Joe you know, to uh, Joseph in a dream. Well, how he's going to create all things? Shouldn't even be a discussion. So my argument is that not only could he have, uh, and, and probably did, I just, it's, that's up for discussion, that if he he was the angel of the Lord, uh, found and recorded in, in the Gospel of Matthias, chapter uh, uh, 2, chapter Beta, nowadays called Vita, uh, that's up for discussion, but the thing is that that it shouldn't be up uh, for discussion if it's a possibility that it could have been Jesus at the same time in Gatri, okay, or the the womb of Mary, and at the same time visiting Joseph in the dream. It's not even the discussion, not even a debate. There's, there's nothing to bring up. 
why bring up the the the, the possible? It is, of, of course, it's, it was possible for him, because in the same, and that means, and, and check this out. Look at the ramifications of it all. That means in and when he was in the womb, and remember, trimester means you know, uh, 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 you know, a group of three. Uh, uh, period. No, <laughs> no pun intended. Okay, in a woman's uh, uh, pregnancy uh, 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 cycle, right? That you have the first trimester, first three months. Second trimester, second uh, uh, three months, and then the third trimester is when we're getting beat up and stuff. I don't know which one we're getting beat up, guys. I think I got beat up like in the first or second trimester. The third was a little bit more peaceful. You know what I'm saying? So the third trimester is the uh, last three months. Okay. So you're saying that in all that, and I'm not saying that he's saying that. He's saying that it should be a discussion. It should be an interesting discussion or debate. It shouldn't be a debate at all. Because if it is a debate, okay, right? I mean, not that is a, is a debate. If it's not possible for Jesus to have done that at the same time that he was in the womb, it, if it's impossible for Jesus to have been a baby and at the same time, Okay, appear to Joseph in a dream. Well, it's impossible for him to have created creatures in a nine months span. You're talking about millions and millions and millions of people that Jesus didn't create. He didn't bring up that in the, in the article um, discussion. While okay, uh, you know it's like a participle. Or, or, while subs, while existing, and it is a participle. While existing in the Gastri of Mary, and which is in the date of case Gastri, you understand what I'm saying? Nine months. Nine. Now I'm just saying that that's the regular, you know, pregnancy, you know, a time. Okay, to deliver, you know, nine months. Sometimes it happens at eight. Sometimes at seven. You know, sometimes less. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm just guessing that everything went according to plan. The Lamb of God was born, okay, in his birthday suit after nine months. You understand what I'm saying? Let's say if it was the whole nine yards. Wow. Well, that means that if, if, it will, if, it, if it's possible to for the Son of Man to uh, appear in, in a dream... Well, this follows suit that it was in part. Don't say that he created all creatures and on the panta. Because that means in nine months he didn't create anybody. Because it was impossible for him to create. Even though I see it was very possible for him to talk. If indeed he did talk according to Hebrews chapter 10 verse 7. In, uh, in the volume of the book it is written of me. I, I come to do thy will. Okay. Probably the Greek word telo there. Okay. Uh... Oh, God, with special definiteness, he addressed uh, the Father, just like uh, in uh, verse 8, chapter 1 of the same book, of the book of Hebrews, the Father called him, okay, uh, uh, with special definiteness, okay? The article there, speaking about articles being used, okay, uh, as a weak demonstrative, not, not a weak, it is a weak demonstrative, but with special definiteness, for special, to, to point out special definiteness. And Julius Armanti, uh, uh ag agreed with that in his treatment of, of the, of the vocative, uh, case. It's not even, a, it's not even a debate. Okay, let's get to this now, but I'm just saying, if we, if we if there shouldn't be a discussion, a can of worms, there's no can of worms to open up, okay? It was more interesting um, when he was talking about uh, the uh, infinitive, okay, having an article, and uh, the discussion there in the pool of, uh, you know, uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 6, you know, has en marfe teuhu parchon, who being in very nature God, the NIV says, okay, and whether or not uh, there was some, 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 uh, some, uh, uh, you know, um, if, there's, if there was subordination, okay, uh, uh, you know, on the part of uh, Logos uh, to Theos, well, the subordination came afterwards, okay, afterwards. 
not before. So even though if it's possible for that to be there in Philippians chapter two, and that's another thing that he brought up, but you know, he wasn't say he was just wrestling. Uh, I guess he was just wrestling with the two ideas to see, you know, which one is, is right. And it's going to take time to figure that out. If that can even be figured out, but the subordination comes after, okay. The incarnation, uh huh. You know what I mean? John chapter one, verse 14, not before, never before. There's no team or honor. The team doesn't doesn't even appear in John one one A B or C, Alpha Beta or Gamma. You know what I mean? All right. Now, so let's just throw that away. I mean, listen. I I'm, I welcome debate. I welcome discussion. But this idea that we're gonna be open up a can of worms. Uh, that that I disagree. I disagree that that all the time that it should be either you know uh, either or that um if it's uh if it's the angel of the lord it should be the angel of the lord all the time meaning christ uh christophany okay or it shouldn't be it should be an angel of the lord all the time no it's according to context you know that's how that's how it's supposed to be done okay according to context it should be either an angel of the lord meaning a creature uh 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 uh, uh, uh an angel an angelic being or according to the context it sh- you know it can be according to context you know the angel of the lord even though the article is not even there okay uh the angel of the lord uh and i think the context uh agrees because in this context okay he says that i i will visit you okay you, you, it's, 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 you know there's no shalach, you know going on here law of agency Okay, God is speaking directly uh, uh, to this uh, woman Hagar. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? At, the, at, at her time of distru- in her time of distress, and saying that you know I will visit you. You know, and it's not it's not like like you know like uh, I you know Gabriel never said you know I am the Lord or I will do this or no the Lord the save the Lord. Even in rebuking Satan, you know uh, uh, Michael the, uh, Lark, the archangel didn't say well I rebuke you. No, he said made you know the uh, the Lord rebuke you. You know he wasn't the Lord. You know what I mean. So anybody who said I this and I that was the Lord, you know, and even you know Isaiah, thus saith the Lord. I I I I okay, yeah, but thus saith the Lord though. He he made sure that everybody knew that the Lord was speaking. You understand what I'm saying? You see that in Zechariah, and I'm going to get to this. You see in Zechariah chapter two verses eight and nine, when Jehovah said, you know, when Jehovah sent Jehovah, you know, it says, um, and thus I think it's like Hati in the Greek Septuagint uh, uh, says lege. Uh, either Hakurias or Kurias, the Lord. Okay, and then it has a quotation marks. You know, uh, after glory, He has sent me a pastalka man, a perfect tense, and another Greek Septuagint copy has the aorist tense, the augment there, epsilon, uh, before the um, before uh, the, uh, the 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 p there. So you got the you know the aorist and the perfect being 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 brought out in different Greek Septuagints. You know, so I want to say a pastalka man, you know, like that. So anyway, I just wanted to say, you know, I, I love the brother. He's a dear brother, and it's, 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 it's you know, and the uh, the um, the the way that he speaks, the way that he has uh, preserved the Greek manuscripts for, for the Christian Kirk, the Church, is a is a wonderful, noble thing. But I just I disagree. It's it's, it's good to disagree uh, with Christian uh, uh, brothers from time to time because you know nobody's impeccable, nobody's perfect. And nobody gets it right all the time. And when I hear, when I when I heard that, that it should be discussed. I mean, there's no discussion because then then you're saying if he couldn't even appear. Now I'm not saying that Dan, Dan Wallace said that it couldn't be done. Okay, you know, you just have to revisit it or stuff like that or whatever the case may be. But you don't have to revisit revisit something that's so rhetorical. You know, if I even said that right, you know, you, you don't have to say, so, you don't have to visit something that's so obvious. You don't have to visit whether there's a Trinity or not. Okay, that that has been done already, you know, at the, at the Council of Nicaea, even though that was the main focus and, and things like that, but it was done anyway. And so, uh, you know, the natures of Christ, you know, why why does the church have to revisit? Uh, we, we can we can you know uh, make statements and stuff like that, but why why wrestle with something that's so so obvious though? Uh, 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 for example, why wrestle with you know if God created yes or no? 
uh, based on because somebody uh, uh, is is um, looking at some gal, you know, uh, at some galaxies that were discovered and stuff like that, and uh, how the origin of man, and then you know that's how people talk, and so oh well, we have to see, we have to revisit, you know. Uh, 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 we have to, uh, you know, like if that's the case or not, or whatever the case may be. I think that he was saying that in a sense, not of creation and all that, but I think that Dan Wallace, okay, you understand what I'm saying, um, was saying that in in a sense uh, that uh, that you know that uh, that that it should, you're opening you're opening up a can of worms there. If you're saying that, you know, that uh, Jesus is in the womb of Mary, but at the same time, he, he visited, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, Joseph, I, I don't know. I, mean, I think he was leaning toward it wasn't possible. That's what, that's what, that's, that's what I'm coming, you know, I, I think that, that came across like that. Like Dan Wallace thought that it was impossible. You're talking about, talking about somebody that believes heavily in the deity of Christ, Okay. That was one of the main things that brought him to uh, to the Lord, okay. And so uh, uh, that's one of the things that 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 he wanted to investigate or wrestle with when he when he wanted to become a Christian or whatever the case may be. Because if Jesus wasn't God, well, why follow him? You know, right? I'll stay with your surfboard. You understand what I'm saying? So I mean, so I'm just I'm just saying that uh, I think that that Dan Wallace came across as like well. You know, he was in the womb and he couldn't do anything outside of the womb. I think it's totally ridiculous because nine months, that means that Jesus didn't create a solid... Now, forget about the human beings. Animals. Mammals. He didn't create anything in, in that nine-month uh, period. So you can't say that he created a panta all things. If he, if nine months he wasn't creating millions and millions and millions of creatures, okay, I think that you're forgetting about the 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 omnipresence, okay, of which is an attribute, an incommunicable attribute of God. One of them uh, of the incommunicable attributes of God is omnipresence. That yes, he could he could have been in a womb, but at the same time he could have done some other things as well. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like in the upper room, he was talking like he was he was in heaven already, you know. Uh, he was talking like he was two two places at the same time, and if the and then let me finish the argument like this, and then and then I promise I'm gonna go to to this of uh, the angel of the Lord and the construction and things like that. Remember that it says, okay, remember where you ha where you have fallen from and repent. Well, that's you know to the church of of, of Ephesus in uh, you know around verse ten anyway, chapter two of uh, uh, Apocalypse, uh, Apocalypse, Revelation. Why does he say that? Well, he said that because okay, in the book of Ephesians chapter one verse six, okay, it says that we were elevated to the to 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 be a quote seated in Christ Jesus in in the heavenlies. So we're forgetting, that's the, the problem with the Kirk, with the church, that we're forgetting that we're here and at the same time, okay, all right, we are seated in him, not just positionally, but literally, literally. Okay, all right, I mean, uh, you know, the old saying is that the translators are traitors, you understand what I'm saying? Not willingly, you know, it's not like Bennett and Arnold, but the thing is they can't bring out Okay, uh, many things from the Greek into into English, so we could so we, we could really, really theologically, you know, handle. Okay, and these are one of these things that the Christian is not only here, okay, but the Christian is seated in Christ Jesus in the heavenlies right now, now. So, but the Christian could be two places at the same time. Okay, well, the the deal is that. Um, not only did Jesus, okay, uh, in, you know, uh, travel uh, inside the, the womb of, 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 of uh, was injected in the womb of Mary by the Holy Spirit, okay? But at the same time, he was there. He wasn't just kept on the wraps for, for nine months without, without being active. That's not God. God can't be inactive. You understand what I mean? 
anyway so that's just a, that's my argument and that's my point now let's get to this uh uh, uh scripture here recorded okay in genesis chapter 16 verse 10 where we see the hebrew it says over here and said okay why yomer uh it says over here why yomer ah uh, and then la okay la and then uh the angel it says over here ma it says over here malach malach okay actually ah malach ah malach so i mean you know now you know why the modern day hebrews have got rid of the ah sound here and the Greeks got rid of the the a sound and the ah sound and the i sound, and and then the, and then the Hebrews got rid of the say they sound the a and turned it into a like the say go the cluster of grapes. You understand what I'm saying? Why? It's just very clumsy, you know. So it was just you know that was just for free. Uh, <laughs> so over here and said okay, um, wa or wa here. Okay, wa or va. I mean, you know, uh, biblical uh, Hebrew. You have it as a W sounding letter. Uh, wa, wa yomer, wa yomer, and that means uh, and said. Now, in Greek, it will be in the Greek Septuagint. Uh, Kai apen. Okay, apen uh, from apple, and so that's just the deal there. Now, um, and praise God. And this says to her. Now, to her, it'll be in some form of data, probably in a, a Greek situation. We could get, we could get to it in another time. Okay, la, okay, la over here. Uh, and uh, you have the lamet, which is the longest uh, Hebrew letter, or one of them anyway. Is at least the longest one when it protrudes up, uh, when, uh, you know, the uh, the upper Mendoza line, and then you have the comments underneath that says la. And that hey is not to be, it's not to be, uh, it's, it's silent. It's, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't hear that. Okay, you don't make a sound there. That hey, it's just like the, uh, um, you know, uh, like uh, Haisha, you know, or Kola, like that. You don't, you don't make the sound, the H sound and stuff like, or like uh, uh, Echia or Yahweh. You, you know you don't hear the the sound of the of the hay you know there and so that's just the deal now um this is a proposition over here uh third uh feminine singular here and so that's just the deal now um so so you have over here um uh, uh, masculine uh over here you have a uh, malach Malach, and that's uh, recorded as a mem with the pathach, and a lamed with the schwa, and the aleph with the pathach, and an accent marker, and then uh, I believe that's final cough, final cough. Okay, so you have the, a, a cough and final cough. You got this is uh, cough so feet, and so that's just the deal. Uh, it's transliterated into K. There's a Q, which is the cough, but that's not here recorded. Malach, Malach, okay, Malach. Uh, no, wait for a second. Let me see what happened over here. Sorry about that, guys. Hmm? Now, um, now this it doesn't have the article here though in front of this. Okay, it doesn't have the article yet. It says the angel of the Lord. Okay, it doesn't have the article. Now remember, in Hebrew, you don't have to have the article. Okay, uh, so uh, in order to put something in its definite state, you know, like Elohim, you know, Bech uh, Reshit Bara Elohim. Elohim doesn't have the article there, meaning the word Elohim in front of the Aleph there, and it will be tagged right in front of the Aleph, I mean, pressed against it. Uh, to the right hand side remember that you read uh, hebrew from right to left the article is not there yeah that's definite because you know of course the context is talking about the creator okay who would eventually become the god of israel i mean you know so that's definite this doesn't have the article here now in some manuscripts it probably can have the article the angel of the lord now let me see uh can i go 
Let me see uh, and read some more here. The angel of the, of the Lord of of Yahweh. Uh, the tetragrammaton is here. So this is the angel of the Lord. Yahweh is here. Yod he wow he. Uh, hand behold nail behold I behold I believe this is start telling uh, talking about the story of the cross meaning in and of itself the tetragrammaton which is the third person form of Hayah Echyap being the first person form uh, of Hayah okay okay so that's just the deal so this is so this is uh, let me see it says I will multiply this is over here okay yeah, the eight has no translation uh, uh, right there, you know. I will multiply, I. That's just the deal. That's what it says. Okay, uh, welcome to part two. I finally got two, part two up and running right now. And so that's just the deal. But let me pray again just real quickly because it's... it's, it's it's about a week after the initial study, something like that. I didn't write it down. And so today, uh, around the house, you know, I, I had to do a lot of things. Uh, I have a special child whom I love with all my heart, really, I do. And uh, she was a little moody today, and I, I had to bring her to, uh, to, in order to do the study, I had to bring her to my mother-in-law's house. So her name is Anna Devane. Everybody knows Anna by now. And so those of you who have a special child, you know what I'm talking about, or if you're a teacher of a special child or whatever the case may be, a bus driver or a matron or anybody under that authority, um, like I say, you know you know what I have to deal with, but I deal with it, you know, almost 24 hours, seven. So that's just the deal. And I, 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 love, I love to deal with it, but it is, you know, in the other, with the other things that I have to do around the house, I get very wary. So I just want to pray unto the Lord to the Lord uh, just very quickly before I do this part two. Well, Holy Father, I come to you in Jesus' name by the new and living way. And I just come to you confessing my sins to you. I agree that I have sinned against you in both in, in body and, and thoughts and didn't do what I was supposed to do perfectly. So just please cleanse me of these sins before I study the Bible uh, in front of your people. Uh, your dear people who are the apple of your eye and to those who are yet your people who are inquiring about these things about the angel of the Lord and um, I pray for uh, for you to give me power because I'm very tired right now Lord uh, both in mind and in, 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 in body and in spirit so I just need your power your boldness and your authority so I can uh, uh, preach and teach this with authority and not like the scribes. So, and that's the only way I'm going to be respected if I teach it in such a way that that brings conviction. And then because if, if I do that, then, then they'll respect the study more. Um, I just thank you for all things and give me boldness and give me, give me what I need uh, to, to see it through in a great way and multiply the study and praise your whole your holy name and your lord jesus christ uh that that you sent to to be our lord um i pray this in the name of jesus amen well guys this is the coup de gras this is the key now this is this is part two now, let me read it before I get I already got into the Hebrew. Now, initially, this study had to do. Now, just in case I put this as a sort of a, yeah, I put the study a, a, apart from the other uh, part uh, because on its own, it's going to be it's going to be OK uh, on its own. So I might do that. I might put this with the other part as a whole full study. And I might do this just alone, which I usually do from time to time anyway, you know. If they don't run into that one, they'll run into this one. You know what I'm saying? Now, stay tuned because we're not only going to look at this briefly, very briefly, because we looked at it uh, uh, according to the Hebrew already. Uh, but we're going to go to, uh, Lord Willie, we're going to go to Matthew's Gospel, chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter um, 27. And we're going to see about the dreams recorded there because this, this initially came after the fact that, that Dan Wallace, whom I love, I love Dan Wallace. I don't really know too much about him. Uh, I know amounts more than Dan Wallace. I mean, you know, um, the both are wonderful. The both are great in the kingdom. 
That's the, the, you know, they're, they're, they have served tremendously the, the body of Christ, and they are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful human beings in, in their own, uh, in their own uh, right. And, but I still, nobody's, nobody's above reproach. Like I said before, I, I have a, a video that I rebuked Jonathan of the uh, two nice Jewish boys and uh, Rosenberg, of the Jewish believer who, 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 who lives in, uh, I mean, you know, I don't know if he still lives in Israel, but I mean, who, who is from uh, uh, Israel, and nobody's above reproach. That's just a deal. If, uh, if Peter wasn't repro- over, uh, you know, un, you know, um, uh, immune to reproach, then nobody is. You know what I'm saying? And this came to be because of what Dan Wallace said that we have to revisit the angel of the Lord if it was Jesus in the New Testament because how can he be in the womb, Gastri, how can he be in the womb and at the same time, uh, you know, visit uh, Joseph in a dream? And I said in part one, okay, of my study, that, that, that or part two, probably, <laughs> maybe I made a part two out of it already, and this is really part three, I mean, I'll, I'll go and see. But, um, well, then, uh, then you can't say that Jesus, under that scenario of Dan Wallace, you can't say that Jesus, okay, created anyone in the span of nine months. Millions upon millions of people he didn't create because he couldn't do anything, okay, apart uh, from the womb. I, I, I think that's nonsense. I think that's, that's just stupidity. We don't have to revisit the virgin birth, right? It's there, and that's it. We don't have to revisit the cross. We don't have to revisit meaning to see if it's, you know, to see if it's, it's, it's true or not, the resurrection. We don't have to revisit, you know, uh, you know, uh, inspiration or expiration, you know, so what I'm saying? We don't have to revisit uh, the doctrine of the Trinity. Now, we can study and stuff like that. I'm not saying that, but I, I don't, we, we as a church don't have to see if it's true. That's what I'm saying. Love believes all things, all things according to the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And so that's just the deal. So, uh, so this idea that we have to revisit uh, the, the thing of the angel of the Lord, I mean, then you're saying that Jesus, there was no way that Jesus, okay, uh, created all those millions and millions of people and animals and mammals. Not only, you know, and, 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 and not only that, wasn't in control of things. You know what I'm saying? And I, I mentioned, uh, you know, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 6, and uh, the uh, the church to the, to the, uh, uh, to the, if uh, the, 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 the letter to the church of uh, the Ephesians, the Ephesians in uh, 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 verse 7, chapter 2 of uh, Apocalypse of uh, Revelation, that we, you know, that they have fallen from that height, okay, according to what it says, uh, 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 uh what, what it says to them, okay, in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 6, that they were elevated, and we are also. To uh, you know, to be seated with with Christ in the heavenly places, again in Christ in Christ Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So we're elevated there. We're there also, and and we're also here. Well, then how much more? Okay, Jesus was in control of things. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not in control of things, even though we're seated there. How much more could He have created and and done other things and visitations and stuff like that? That's just all there is to it. So you can't say no longer that Jesus is the creator of everybody if he couldn't do anything outside of the womb. That's how stupid the remark of Dan Wallace uh, actually is, though I I love him immensely. All right, now let's let's read this because we, I want to finish up uh, Genesis chapter 16, verse 10. I think it was very fair to Dan Wallace, very respectful, okay? So let's just uh, let that be. So as we have more over the angel of the Lord, Okay, said, now let me just get this, this thing out. Okay, uh, said to her, meaning to Hagar, I will, not he will, but I will greatly multiply your uh, descendants or your seeds, says another translation, so that they may, uh, they will be uh, to many uh, to count. Is, is that clear? Do I have to read it again? He says over here, okay, moreover, uh, the angel, uh, the angel of the Lord said to her, okay, all right, quote, I will greatly multiply, okay, your seed or your descendants. Let's stop there. I will. 
Now, we're going to look at the Greek Septuagint. It's around here someplace. I mean, you know, I, I took a picture of it, and it's probably right there. Uh, listen, or maybe that's uh, something else, though. Uh, that's, that's probably not, um, you know, that is probably uh, uh, something. But we'll, we'll see. I think it has to do with Joel chapter 2, but, but you know, about our dreams, you know, confirming, okay, what is said in the New Testament, uh, Joel chapter 2, verse 28, so I don't think it's a picture of that. And so that's just the deal. I don't really think so. But but anyway, that's just that's, that's no problem. Okay? I will. Now, uh, it's probably a uh, pelo. In the emphatic, it'll be something like ego, uh, telo, or whatever the case may be, whatever construction, uh, you know, um, the Satojan translators use. Probably telo, okay? Could look at it another time. I could probably put it as an appendix uh, to this study, just an appendix, you know, going to the Greek Satojan uh, based, uh, based on uh, what's recorded in Genesis chapter 16, verse 10. You understand what I'm saying? But this is I will, not he will. Look, the angels never said I anything to people here upon earth. Never. Gabriel and uh, Michael, especially Gabriel, right? Because he's all over the place. Okay, He's in Daniel chapter 9. He's in, uh, I mean, you know, uh, Luke chapter 1. I mean, he's all over the place. Gabriel never said, I this, I that. He said, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord this, the Lord that, the Lord sent me, the, the Lord. In third person. The Lord did this, the Lord sent me, the Lord, and you will be dumb, not, you know, not opening up your mouth. <laughs> he said to Zechariah, you know what I'm saying? And then the same, uh, Gabriel visited uh, Mary. And he shall be great. Not that I will be great. He shall be great. You understand what I'm saying? That's just a deal. So this, I mean, out of 100%, I would say 99.9%, .9 because we can't be so dogmatic because we weren't there, but we have the scriptures, so I have to, just in case uh, that, that, might, that, 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 that there might be a fly in an ointment someplace. I, I don't know. Maybe the fly is dead. And it's still 100%, you know what I'm saying? But regardless of that, so I'm putting it at a, at a fair 99.9%. .9%, you understand? And it's just like I put the same percentage almost, so like 99% uh, that it was the Trinity that visited Abraham. Okay, because we can't be so dogmatic about that. But 99%, I mean, you know. Listen, if I had a shot, okay, to win a contest, again, I had 99% of well, chance of winning? Well, let's just, just I'm going to win uh, 99 out of... Uh, 99 out of 100 times. That's just a deal. There'll be 100 days of me winning nonstop. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? Except for one day. I mean, you know, then it's just a deal. He said, I will multiply your seed. Wait a minute. That has to do with creation. I will multiply your seed. No, 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 no. You know why he says I will multiply thy seed? Because he is the intermediate agent of creation, the one who's recorded here. It can't be Gabriel that's saying this to him because he's the primary, you know, messenger. You know, it's like Gabriel, I, 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 I stand in the presence of God, I, 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 not uh, uh, the Lord. It's not that he was the Lord. I'm the Lord. No, he stands in the presence of God. And because you didn't believe me, you didn't believe him, and you're going to be dumb. You can't speak until you write that thing on the tablet saying, oh, this is, his name is John. And then, you know, he could have wrote something else. He could have said, well, you know, my uh, my uh, wife Elizabeth was playing around with one of the gardeners or something like that. You understand know what I'm saying? And so you know that's why she became pregnant. No, no, no. She he had faith. He wasn't he wasn't okay until he wrote that name in the tablet. You know what I'm saying? His tongue was loose, and that's just the deal. But uh, we hear I I I this I that I will visit you I I I all across the bar. One thing that Jesus never said, thus saith the Lord, because he's the Lord. Everybody knows that. That's a, that's a baby uh, piece of information I'm giving everybody, just reminding you. He never said, thus saith the Lord. I, I, I'm the Lord. He says. You understand what I'm saying? 
that's just the deal. So why he has gonna why he's gonna have to say, "Thus saith the Lord," or the, 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 you know, like that? Well, I mean, you know, uh, the Father is the Lord also, so He sent Him. So I mean, you know, Lord of heaven and earth. I don't I don't have any problem with that. Uh, him calling uh, the Father Lord because the Father calls Him Jehovah anyway. In Hebrews chapter one verse ten, from Psalm twenty, you know, one hundred and two. You understand what I'm saying? Eh? That's just the deal. Okay. What does it say here? Let's go. Let's go on. It says over here. Look at the look at the look at the dreams. Uh, in 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 uh, according to Matthew's gospel, let's leave the story soon. It says over here. Moreover, the angel of the Lord said to her, "I will greatly multiply your descendants, so okay that they will be uh, too many to count." Uh, well, I mean, that sounds like it's like something he said that's recorded in chapter 12 of this book to Abraham. Your descendants will be like the stars of the heavens and like the sand in the seashore. Are they going to say that? More or less. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? This is the Lord. 99.9%. That's just a deal. Why Why people have to put God in a box that he can't do anything? You see what I'm saying? I'm not talking about Dan Wallace because it was stupid what he said. It was stupid. We don't have to revisit nothing. And let me tell you something about the other thing that he said and that, and that wonderful thing about the article, the wonderful story about the article, but he tainted it all. It's just like, you know, having a nice bouquet of roses or even more, you know, a whole bunch of basket of fruit and putting a little bit of iodine in it. You know what I'm saying, or or like a capsule of uh, that the secret agents take when they would been didn't big you know taken hostage or something like that. You understand what I'm saying? They only got thirty seconds to live. Why ruin everything with guesses and if this? And we don't have to do that. He was doing wonderfully about the rules of the article and stuff like that because the rules are the rules. If I jump out of the state by uh, by state building, I'm going down. But once he gets his, he gets into this guesswork, uh, well, you know, there might be some subordination because of the article. I forgot what it was. I got to revisit it again. No, no pun intended. Um, you know, about the article. I, I think uh, the article in front of the, 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 the Infinitive, I think it was. I got to revisit that again. Okay, I got to make a study on, on my own. And then you're going to base that... Uh, that somebody wrote that I might be the case that he might be, be, be you know a logos might have been subordinate to the father no that's not that's not for that I hate to say time time he's subordinate now Hupatasso I submit or whatever the case may be and then you put it you know uh, you know he he will uh, be made subject unto him. You understand what I'm saying? But that's not, that's not, that's not now, man. We don't have to, just, oh, you know, just because if if the article is there, then it means that. And if the article is not there, that's flimsy. No, we, just like James Boyce said, which was very wise. We need teaching verses to elucidate vague verses. That's how you, you don't even take verse. Forget about articles, missing articles and stuff like that, Okay. You don't even take vague verses of scripture to elucidate anything. You take teaching verses to elucidate uh, non-teaching verses or vague verses of scripture or the, even verses in the Old Testament. The Old Testament is in the, in the, in the Old Contained and the, you know, the New Testament is in the Old Explained. The Old Testament is in the Old Concealed. The New Testament is in the New Revealed. That's a hermeneutical rule. And by the way, uh, hermeneutics is found and recorded in John chapter 1, the, the Greek word for hermeneutics, exegesis, all tucked in there in chapter 1. And, uh, you know, and the miners uh, dig it out from time to time. And there's another one, you know, uh, uh, apologetics found and recorded in verse 15 of chapter 3 of First Peter. So all that stuff is, you know, those are terms 
that I found for hermeneutics. And, the, 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 and, and you know, uh, Dr. Walter Martin did a wonderful study on hermeneutics, uh, you know, the biblical, the art and science of, the, of biblical interpretation. We don't even take verses of scripture that are not teaching verses to elucidate other scripture, okay, all right, to make teaching out of it. Not even verses of scripture. Forget about a word that may have an article, might not have an article. That's guesswork. We don't we don't know that. That's that's flimsy evidence at best. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just, yeah, I can I can give you forensics that that that, that don't do that stuff. You know what I mean? This is this, this hearsay. That's circumstantial evidence. This, this, this can't appear in court. All right. Now, um, with that being said, I mean, you know, Dan Wallace is a ruin, really a, a, a great start, a study on the article, at least, you know, part two or whatever the case may be. I mean, it was it was really wonderful. But when you get into this, 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 this stupidity of guessing and it might be this, it might be that. And, reveal, and that's where a lot of heresy comes comes in, because, you know, you're 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 forming your doctrine on the absence of the article of the or the, or the presence of the article. In something that we know that he wasn't subject, okay, all right, before the incarnation. Jesus wasn't subject to no one before the incarnation. It's not taught in the Bible. There was no subjection, okay, at that time. And forget about using like Jehovah's Witnesses use, you know, uh, my, you know, Micah chapter of five verse three in the Greek Septuagint verse four in 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 in, in uh, the Hebrew and in English text about you know him having a God, okay, all right. That was uh, that was that was for the future. The the Greek Septuagint has a uh, stesetai, and the sigma there is the tense formative for the future. I don't have to tell Dan Wallace that. Uh, passive construction of personal ending, uh, 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 primary uh, passive uh, personal ending there, and the lengthening of uh, what? Uh, epsilon to eta, which happens before transformative anyway. And that's just the deal. I mean, you know, that's just it. That's for the future. I will, you know, he, he will stand. Right? That's for the future. He will shepherd. He will stand. That's the future tense, man. That's not. That's not. That's not that's, he wasn't. He had, had no. Um, he wasn't subject to 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 anyone, including who we now know is God the Father. That's the kenosis, the emptying that that brought that about. Meaning the the uh, as a goat appears at my doorstep. I mean, you know, it's just I don't have any milk for that thing. Okay, it's just you know. I have to be very respectful of things like that. You know, I mean, I would love to carry him and throw him out but you know something um somebody did that in the chicago cup uh, uh uh cubs uh baseball team or clubhouse or whatever the case of maintenance or whatever the case maybe they were cursed for more than 100 years okay <laughs> because the owner of the goal said may you never win a championship for 100 years or something like that and it happened okay something like that to that effect you know i don't know all the details but still to be very respectful of those kind of animals you know because they are they were you know types of of, of christ you know uh, types and uh, 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 figures and shadows you understand what i'm saying of the rio but the thing is that uh, i just wish forget about the guesswork man the guesswork, I mean, that's why, you know, uh, God made preachers to, to because, you know, they are traitors. They're not the better than Arno, you know, these 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 Greek scholars. Uh, they're not better than Arno, but they are traitors, though. So you need preachers and teachers to teach the stuff, though. Because some, and I'm not talking about Dan Wallace, though. I'm not talking about, but some of these people are hideous preachers and teachers. I mean, let's just face it, guys. Goodness gracious. Some some of the people that read the Bible are not that great either in in, in teaching the Bible and preaching. Though Henry Van Dyke was pretty good, you know, uh, you know, uh, at a teaching or exhorting. I mean, he had a wonderful tulip series, you know, Henry Van Dyke. Not to, no, I'm not saying that because he appears on my channel. Okay, the Angelo K Y K Y Kenyon's channel. Okay, you know, it's a very successful channel. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get to the let's get to the um. Okay, let's get to the. To the story found and recorded to the uh, to the sayings of uh, Joel found and recorded in Joel chapter two verse 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 twenty eight. Um, I hope I have the English here. I mean, I hope I went through the, through the trouble. 
And it looks like I didn't. Maybe I did. No, Joe chapter 2, verse 31. Um... Now, this is the thing in an incidental way. The, the day of the Lord is the day of Yahweh. The day of the Lord is the day of Jesus Christ in the New Testament. You put those together and it's in the scheme of all. And Jesus is the Jehovah or the Yahweh or the Yahweh of the Old Testament. You know what I'm saying? See, the puzzle pieces uh, of Revelation found in Revelation chapter 22 Okay, all right, and other chapters, you know, like, uh, let me see, uh, uh, like, um, uh, verse 12 and chapter 13 of that chapter, chapter 22, and then the last verse says, come Lord Jesus, well, you know, uh, Alpha and Omega said he was going to come, so if he says, come Lord Jesus, you know, I mean, you know, uh, well, that means that Jesus is Jehovah, and just piece everything together, I mean, that's all you got to do is a witness, now, I'm talking to the witnesses. Forget about Dan Wallace. You understand what I'm saying? Um, let's see over here. All right. Now, um, let's... And then I'll go backwards to uh, Joel. But let's just go to the dreams first. First of all, before I read this, okay... This is almost like dealing with the book, the, with the with the book of the apocalypse. You have to really piece things together when it has to do with soul sleep. Uh, uh, supposedly, you know, the people are gonna soul sleep, they'll be uh, be in in suspended animation and soul sleep, which is not a biblical doctrine. So you have to piece things together there to 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 uh, challenge that. And then also, I mean, um, you have to piece things together when it comes to, um, you know, um, this. I mean, you see four passages of Scripture uh, recording dreams. Now, I already said, and I argued with Dan Wallace's, you know, hypothesis, or whatever you want to call it, that really Jesus, and he didn't want to say it, but he, it was hard for him to just, or just say it. That this is, if you believe that he did it, just say it, if you believe that he didn't do it, just say it, it was hard for him, it's not hard for me, D dreams are recorded four times in the book of Matthew, okay, one's in chapter 1, verse 20, the other one in, um, in uh, and I'm going to go there, because that's the first one, the other ones are found and recorded, in chapter 2, um, in chapter 2, verse 12, uh, verse 19, and 22. Okay, so let me, let's go to chapter 1 first, though. Okay, so that's just it here. Okay, let me go to... Oh God, this is the first one in the book. And the other one is found and recorded in chapter 27, around verse uh, 19. You know, Pilate's wife had a dream, and that's just the deal. You understand? This is the one that I'm talking about. This is the Greek. I don't want to go to the Greek. I want to go to the English. I don't think I recorded the English in any of these things. So, I mean, you know, um, well, let's just see what we have here. But I think that's, is that the English? Right? No. But it has, it's a Greek interlinear. So anyway, it says over here, having having uh, pondered, meaning Joseph, having pondered, behold, and that's in, that's in, uh, and that's in the, uh, that's in the uh, imperative mood. That's the mood of command. An angel, okay, and uh, let me see if I could uh, just go this way. All right. An angel of the Lord. Okay. In. Uh, let me see. The angel of the Lord. And I uh, had that on there. Um. The angel of the Lord, it probably says appeared. Now, let me see if I get something else over here. The angel, no. The angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Let's just put it like that. Okay? Now, um, it says over here, the angel of the Lord, okay, in in a dream, I snuffed out. Now, luckily, I thought the English was snuffed out, but the Greek is here, anar, is the Greek word okay? Anar Omicron nowadays called Omicron. Nowadays called Ni Alpha Rho. 
And then there's a soft breathing marker and acute marker over the first Omicron. Now they called Omicron, like I said before. So anyway, Anar is here tagged, and that's a that's a and that's a. I don't have the 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 number here. Appeared to him in a dream. Anar. So the all of the mentionings. Of dreams that people had, and there are four of them, I think, only in, in Matthew. I, I can't think of anything else. Okay. But all pass. Okay. All um pants, really. All um dreams okay recorded don't have uh those words, uh that phrase, the angel of the Lord. And don't have uh, also uh, they were war- they were divinely warned. Okay, they they don't have everything like that. It's only the last dream of Joseph in verse twenty two of chapter two, I believe, that has that um, divinely warned, and then uh, one of those verses of the th- of the of the uh, of the three dreams in two chapters. Uh, that appeared to 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 Abraham, the Abraham, I mean, uh, the uh, Joseph that Joseph had, okay, um, you know, has uh, the angel of the Lord. I got one of them, uh, or, or or two of them uh, has that one or two out of the uh, three that he had <clears throat> dreams, and the other uh, the, the other one uh, the mage I had. Okay, but it doesn't say the angel. It doesn't say the angel of the Lord. They just, just, just they just had a dream to go another way uh, to their own country. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, uh, most of these and um, and uh, the angel of the Lord didn't appear. At least you know it doesn't say it. Okay, to the wife of uh, a pilot, uh, Paul Meyer. Paul Myers has a wonderful novel on Pilot. Maybe you could pick it up on audio, uh, CD, or book form. Wonderful, wonderful book. Okay. The Constantine Codex was my favorite uh, 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 book of um, of uh, Paul Meyer. All right, now anar is anar is the Greek word for dream. Okay, so it says over here in uh, verse twenty. I hope I said verse twenty when I was speaking, uh, chapter one, that the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Now it says in the Old Testament for people don't, who don't believe uh, that people can have dreams, not even nowadays. Do you can you believe there's people nowadays that, that that don't believe that people can have dreams? So there's a lot of people in the church that are getting away with crimes and fornication and adultery because there's no prophets, uh, uh, you know, or these gifts aren't being manifested in the church of God. It's not our church. You understand what I mean? It's not our church, guys. Now, let me see over here. Wait for a second. Let me just. We'll poke the bear there again and let me see here and that's just the deal um so let me just poke the bear there um so this is what we were seeing already and why is that I'm doing that let me just, so let me just skip Okay, so um, let me go to Joel. Okay, uh, chapter uh, 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 2, verse 28. Let's check out the word for dream there. And it says, And your daughters, it says over here, but first of all, uh, your daughters uh, and your old men, okay. And your old men, let's see, dreams. Okay, so the word for dreams, so you got over here, okay, ha, ha, mot. 
אוקיי? הלומות, הלומות, that's the, the, the chitz, that's the guttural, so it's equal to the chi in Greek, so that's chatef pathach, so it's cha, okay, it looks like, I'm right under the S in dreams, that's a ch, it looks like the, the Greek P, doesn't it, a little bit though, but that's a ch uh, in, in Hebrew, okay, like, like in uh, arche, or archi, you understand what I'm saying? Then you have a like a minus sign underneath it. You got the two dots, you know, that are that are uh, vertical uh, dots. That's the that's the that's the that's called hatef there. And then you have the pathach, uh, which is an A class, that hyphen looking uh, thing or that minus sign looking thing. That's an A class, like in the word hat. So you have ha. Don't make Hebrew so hard. What's hard for us? We don't know how to speak. Um, But the same accent that that certain Jews have, even though there's a lot of dialects, okay, and stuff like that, it's Sephardic, and, and on and on it goes. You know, so there are there are wars and rumors of wars. You understand know, so what I'm saying? Even in, in dialects, uh, according also to the Greek. So uh, I don't expect them to speak like like my like I can speak English and I can speak Spanish. I don't expect them to speak like that either. But if they say something close to You know that I can understand. Uh, we don't care in America, especially in New York, where I was located at, where I used to live. Um, we we don't care too much about how people pronounce things, just as long as we, you know, uh, it's it's not that bad. Okay, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, you have a cha here, and then you have a lamed. Okay, being the other syllable, you have a lamed. That's the L, and I'm right under the. I'm right under the M in dreams. That's an L. It's found in Elohim, and Ale and other, uh, 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 you know, other other things as well. You know, other words. El Moshe uh, to Moses. You know, is a preposition L there. It's all over the place. That that L, that Lamed. You know, very long letter to the top, isn't it? Though, but it has a dot near the left hand side of the top of that letter, and that's an O class. So you say lo. That's all. You say lo, right? If it had an A class underneath it, you know, you'd say uh, la or la. See, you just pronounce the consonant first, okay? If it doesn't have a sound, the consonant that you pronounce was whatever, whatever is under it, or, or you know, you know, like that. Or you, you know, you understand what I'm saying? If it's silent, you don't pronounce the consonant. You just pronounce the, the diacritic. Now, the end of a Hebrew word, uh, sometimes you pronounce it, sometimes you don't, and sometimes you you pronounce it the other way around. You know, you, you pronounce uh, the diacritic and the consonant, you know, but that's, that's uh, the, the funny things go, you know, goes on at the end of the Hebrew word, you know. So, uh, halo, halo, and then you have a mem, okay? Then you have a mem, Ah, uh, here with an accent marker, so you have m so far. But there's a there's a wow acting like a, like a like a like a like a vowel because it has an o class over it. Remember we saw the o class uh, near the lamed, and that's one over the wow. So you put that together, and what do you have? You have more so far. Okay, I'm right under the r in dream, so more. The final syllable consists of mo, but that's not finished because there's a tau, okay, or tav, and that's one of the t's. The other one's tet in Hebrew. You got uh, what is it? Twenty-two letters in a Hebrew alphabet, uh, uh, alphabet, and, uh, and it's a song that you have to sing. You know, when you're training uh, in Hebrew, you know, alef gimel bet, alef how it goes, alef bet and gimel dalet hey and wal and zai and kate and tate and yod and kaf and lamet main and samik like that. You know, until you go to the end and you lose your breath, you need scuba gear. You know, like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's just a deal. So. Um, So that's wow, then that's a T, and sometimes pronounced TH in some dialects, and some dialects pronounced like what an S sound or whatever. So you have uh, halomot, Halo, halomot, halomot, and halomot means dream, you understand what I'm saying? Actually, it's in the plural, uh, dreams. You understand? That's just it. Remember that the Tao can make a what? 
a plural, just like the mem can, uh, can make it plural in Hebrew, in uh, biblical Hebrew and in modern Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? So this is found and recorded. So this is found and recorded uh, in the Old Testament that, you know, people, the people of God, are going to do some stuff. They're going to receive visions and dreams. And poor is the church that doesn't have this, okay, these gifts manifested. Now, your job as the pastor is to control the, situ the situation because he wants uh, things done decently and in order. But just because things are not done in decent, they're not done decently in other churches or whatever the case may be, and even in the, the church of Corinth, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean you throw the baby out with the bathwater, you know, someone and not have the gift at all. You're stifling the Holy Spirit, you're quenching the Spirit of God. Did I say quenching? <laughs> you're quenching the Spirit of God. Yeah, I forgot my English here in the Philippines. It's just a, 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 a disgrace, guys. All right, so that's just the deal. So, um, so that's just it. Now, um, now let's go. Now we we dealt also already with uh, Matthew chapter one, right, in verse twenty. The angel of the Lord visited, you understand what I'm saying, Joseph in a dream, because he was contemplating putting away Mary for infidelity, something that she wasn't guilty about, of, you know. All right, so let's go to, okay, and let's go to verse 12. This is the second time that dreams appear, uh, the dreams appear okay, in, in Matthew's gospel. So this is Matthew chapter 2, verse uh, uh, 12. It says something like this, and, okay, this is broken rhythm over here, and uh, having heard, okay, uh, divinely, uh, having been, I said, I think it's like, having been divinely warned, okay, in a dream, okay, uh, and for Kai, having been uh, divinely warned, is actually re ma ti stentes. Now, um, now, uh, the epsilon sigma, let's work backwards, is a, a nominative in the plural. Okay, it's nominative plural, uh, uh, a case ending. So you have the two systems here. In Greek, you have the noun system and the verb system put together. And the new natal is the act of morphine, morphine and uh, this app is not going to tell you all this. You know, you have to know this stuff going in. The new natal is one of the um, participial morphines that forms the participle, okay? That's the part of the participle in here, okay? Everything else is just meaning and case. Um, now, remember in participles, okay, Theta and eta, so this has to be this, this has to be passive, and it is uh, just checking my work. Theta and epsilon, theta nowadays called theta and epsilon, is the is the is the passive is the uh, is the uh, is the passive morphine. Okay, it's an aris passive morphine. Now we're used to aris passive having theta and eta, or just eta. Okay. It will be just epsilon, also uh, second aris uh, uh, passive, uh, aris passive here. But remember, you're dealing with participles, so some stuff changes. Okay, that's for first of, all, first of all, there's no augment because that time has nothing to do with participles. This is a continuous uh, 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 thing. Okay, uh, a linear, if you will. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So that's just the deal, and um, and the meaning is in the stem here, and that's just the deal. Okay, um, the helping word have changes to having, so you put the ing. A part of is an ing word in English, so you put that in a helping verb and not in the in the actual uh, word itself that contains the meaning. Uh, 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 and that's just the deal. You understand what I'm saying? All 
Aris participle uh, passive construction with a nominative uh, masculine uh, plural case ending. Okay? See the pont uh, paradigm, uh, Mao says, okay, the post paradigm, pont, you know, because uh, you're going to see pontus there having the same thing. You understand? Uh, I mean, one in, uh, in a dream. Now, this is verse 12, so it has that there. Now, you see that the angel of the Lord appeared uh, in a dream to Joseph. Okay, but this says that God appeared to him. Some translations has it, uh, and God appeared to him, in the, you know, that he was warned by God, or God appeared to him in a dream. You understand what I'm saying? That's just it. It's the same thing that happens in verse 22, I believe. Okay, that's just it. Now, uh, actually, um, Joseph wasn't um, um, part of this. This has to do with the Magi being warned. Okay, uh, being warned. Okay, in a dream. Joseph, Joseph is, is, is in, has to do with verses 19 and 22, so I'll take that back if I said that, So because this is the major. I don't have everything recorded here in front of me, okay? But let's go on. It says over here, and I think I took another picture of verse 12, so that's good. A dream, and that's anar. So that's going to be our word for dream here, okay, all across the board. Okay, whether whether it's in, um, it's in uh, you know, Matthew chapter 1, verse 20, uh, Matthew chapter 2 verse 12 verse uh, 19 and 22 and uh, all the way uh, to uh, the wife's dream okay Pilate's wife's uh, wife uh, Pilate's wife had a dream and I think that's Anar there in verse 19 of chapter 27 almost the second to last chapter incidentally the resurrection is recorded and I clone all the verses praise God he gets the glory not me Okay, according to he is risen. Well, that's found and recorded in all of the synoptic gospels, last chapter. Okay, uh, in verse six. Okay, John has it a little bit differently. It's to the second to last chapter. He is risen, and he has it in verse nine. So he broke up the set. But so what? He's the beloved the disciple. He can do whatever he wants. You know, is that what I'm saying? That's just the deal. Now, um. Well, you can't really, but I'm just, <laughs> you know, that's just, you know. So anyway, so the thing is that, um, so that's just the deal. Now, so that's there. Yeah. They were warned in a dream uh, not to, okay, return, okay, to add it. Because he was probably going to kill him, okay? He was probably going to kill him. Uh, he was along uh, with uh, Jerusalem, you know, troubled at uh, at uh, at the thought of uh, of another king being being born, and he, he you know uh, you know he had a dynasty, okay, a whole bunch of Herods and stuff like that, uh, flat, you know, uh, rising up like mushrooms, and he didn't want this 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 um, this uh, so called imposter to pop up. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, or you know, so I'm just you know saying what he would have probably said to his family. Well, we have to kill him and stuff like that, and uh, you know, and just to make sure. That this magi doesn't 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 cause me trouble, okay, and then I lose my throne because you know uh, they were under Pontius Pilate, even the king. Well, let me just kill them when they come. You know what I'm saying? A dream, uh, not to return to Herod. Now a dream is Anar over here. So let's go on. Now the next, uh, this is the same chapter, the next of us about dreams has to do with this. Has to do with Joseph says, uh, behold, and that's an imperative, okay, edu. I think the epsilon uh, uh, collided with the omicron there that came, uh, omicron and upsilon, I think. Anyway, the a an angel, doesn't have the article here. Uh, the angel, okay, angelos, okay, of the Lord, of the Lord, and that's uh, kuriu, of the Lord appeared in uh, uh, Phinetai. Phinetai appeared. And that's a present tense indicative middle passive construction. Tai from the my side tie deal. Connecting vowel epsilon. So that's easy. 
and then you have fine there uh, the phi alpha delta nu as the stem present act of stem okay phi phi neti that's a primary active uh, passive uh, middle passive personal ending by the way appeared how how did he appear well he appeared okay in and that's got short for kata so you have a handful of prepositions that can can be translated into in it's not only n and uh ace you know into like that not haste you know but ace or ice or east whatever but kata can do that as well kat and that's uh, that's called an elision there in greek the, the apostrophe there a dream okay anar a dream uh, to joseph well, nothing new with that that happened before in verse 20 of chapter 1 of this book okay and n is there and n is translating that n so he appeared okay to joseph to uh joseph and yeah, that's just it so joseph needed to be you know led by god three times not to divorce or marry to flee to Egypt because the child was going to be killed and to uh, return okay, to, to leave to, uh, um, Egypt okay and and live in in Nazareth now all of those were to fulfill scripture all of those was to, to fulfill scripture Okay, that's just a deal. Especially the last two. Because even though if he were to put away Mary, okay, um, the Messiah would have been born, but the lines wouldn't have been exhausted, though. That's the problem with him divorcing. So, so it wasn't really anything to do with the birth of Jesus. He was going to be born regardless of that. You understand what I'm saying? Of, 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 of you know, his, his lack of faith in Mary. That's not the key. The coup de grace is that the lines, this is really the coup de grace. The lines were not going to be exhausted. If Mary did not marry, if Joseph didn't take Mary unto wife, the lines would have been open even now. And it would have been always a question about the Messiah. Uh, 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 you know, well, the lines are not exhausted, so the Messiah could still come in the eyes of some people. Now the, the Messiah can't come okay in that way because the lines are exhausted there was a jack and I asked, there was a curse upon him that no one will take the throne you understand what i'm saying that's found and recorded in the old testament and jack and I asked, is is there in verse what verse 11 of chapter one so the thing is he was a cursed man and nobody uh, of his prodigy was going to be allowed to okay to uh, take the throne so, so uh, the two family lines had to come together, each from uh, two sons of Solomon, okay, uh, each, each uh, from uh, one son, uh, uh, two particular uh, sons of uh, uh, Solomon. And one was the legal line and one was the royal line. So you see two gene gene genealogies, uh, one in, in uh, Luke chapter 3 and in um, uh, Matthew chapter 1, where you see, you know, um, how many generations you see? Uh, well, 42 generations there. 14, 14, 14. The last one was after uh, the Babylonian captivity of, of, of Israel, you know. Took 14 generations from Messiah to come after the captivity. You understand what I'm saying? Can't make a time grid out of it to see when Jesus is going to come back. It's not for us to know. Okay. If it wasn't for Jesus to know at that time, how much more us for us is it not to for us not to know? You understand what I'm saying? That's why I were camping, predicting the end of time in 1994 and in 2001 and 11 was a disgrace to the church. Was a disgrace to the church. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, he eventually apologized and stuff like that, but still, I mean, caused a lot of damage, and I think that he he knows that now. After dying of a heart attack in, in uh, I don't know, 2017 or whatever it was. Well, let's go on. 
So anar is the word for uh, it says in a dream. Okay, kat anar. Okay, anar. Anar. Okay, because the 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 cube marker is over the first omicron. Now they called omicron. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, this uh, the first and only omicron. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, so, yeah. so Anar seems to be the, the Greek word for dream all across the board in verses 20 of chapter 1 um, verse 12 of this chapter and verse 19 so far so so far in this chapter we have uh, at least three people being warned by dreams okay the tradition is that it was three people magi like that we don't know if it was three that's not you know even in that, uh, in that uh, King, the making of the King James uh, movie, which is a wonderful movie, I, I disagree with the commentaries, you know, that, that came afterwards. It's a wonderful movie, but this this idea that the King James is over uh, was over the Greek manuscripts or what? It's just ludicrous, it's stupidity. But that's another that's another uh, thing, and you know, I don't want to open that can of worms here. Uh, not no pun intended because you know uh, Dan Wallace uh, says about the can of worm opening, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, opening up when you revisit uh, the 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 angel of the Lord uh, uh, deal. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the next thing. Okay, the next story has to do with Joseph again. He's found and recorded in 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 uh, three places that has to do with dreams. Verse 20 of chapter 1 uh, and uh, verse uh, 19 and 22 of chapter 2. It's us over here having, okay, been divinely won. Okay, now divinely won. Okay, now that's chrema di stes. Okay, chrema di he ro eta now they call ito muda now they call me alpha tau tau they is no now they is called tough iota sigma theta now they is called theta the theta it's called theta nowadays in modern Greek and epsilon iota vital sigma you know saying? I'm divinely warned okay in a dream now in <laughs> that's all I got. And then uh, it says over here, okay, in a dream, anar. Okay, anar is the word again for dream. He, meaning Joseph, withdrew. Okay, and that's anechoresen. Okay, anechoresen. Now, that's in the Aris tense. That had to do with time. Now, I, it's probably a preposition here with the, with the word, with the verb. So that's Anna. Now the alpha was taken out. Okay, I believe. And then you have um, if this was a, 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 a preposition in this thing. Uh, and then the epsilon was added to um, the, 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 this, uh, that's the augment there. Okay, and then you have the chi and omega with the cube marker. Rho, eta, Sigma epsilon nu, and that and that's another that giveaway for the Aries tense that sigma epsilon in the third person there, and only appears that sigma epsilon only appears in the uh, first person, uh, third person singular, and uh, uh, kappa epsilon appears in the perfect tense, but also the Aries tense in uh, infinitive. So kappa epsilon, kappa alpha. Are the uh, infinitive um, uh, are the aorist inf- uh, morphemes in the infinitive system? You understand what I'm saying? So not not sigma alpha in the infinitive. You got to be careful with that. Um, and then the eta was probably lengthened from alpha or epsilon, whatever the case may be. I have to look at the original, and so that's just the deal. Okay. Uh, remember that uh, uh, the era, you could bunch them together. Um, the present, the future, and the perfect tense has primary active personal endings, but the but the aorist tense and then the imperfect tense have secondary uh, personal endings. Okay, I grouped them together so I could remember it. Long, you know, a, a long time ago. Actually, a while ago I did that because just teaching-wise, just to remember it uh, uh, better. 
a dream okay uh withdrew okay into and that's ace into the and that's da that's the that's the, 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 the alpha is making that a plural article okay and the the, the uh uh and this is uh, an accusative form but it's also an anonymous form uh district or mary mary now if you pronounce this in modern greek you're gonna have mary that's the that's the that's the fallacy of pronouncing of using a pushing or shoving or forcing the modern way of pronunciation into biblical greek you're gonna have chaos okay you know tone uh tom they on into tone they own it's not even found in the new testament that's your safeguard but still uh who toss into who toss uh boyamen into boyomen making that a subjunctive instead of uh uh you know you know what i'm saying uh the present uh uh tense so anyway whatever you know all right that's just a deal so uh let's see what else is here what kind of other goodies we can find now, I have this for you guys. It says over here this is tagged by 5537 uh, and that's chrematizo. And what's the definition of that? Okay. The definition of that, okay, being warm, but divinely warm, by the way. Definition, it is okay, originally a K to uh, transact, transact business. Uh, a act it says over here uh, uh, it says of God to one okay uh, so in the passive to be warned by God uh, I had uh, the word God over here in the second uh, shot to be warned by God probably okay in response Probably in, restart, in response to an inquiry as to, okay, one's duty. B, uh, to take a name. Uh, to take a name from, and I can't see, uh, public or public uh, business or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's just a deal. Now let's go to a chapter. Um, now why do I have Joel here? Uh, where is... Um, where is uh the final one here in chapter 27 uh, based on chapter 27 that's joel in the hebrew uh, is this uh mm, what, what happened to the what happened to that oh, oh i have it in the beginning though meaning chapter 27 uh, verse 19 of the dream okay that uh you know that uh you know what I'm saying? Uh, so buy one free two. <laughs> it's just uh, what's that? Uh, what's that? Is that a handbag or something like that? Whatever the case may be, I just put that. You know, just I was gonna buy that from my wife. Now, um, oh yeah, Matthew chapter twenty-seven, verse nineteen. This is the final dream. Okay, verse. You understand what I'm saying? It says over here. It says for I suffered. Okay, and that's uh, the the. Uh, uh okay um epathon epathon actually because of the cube marker epathon ah i suffered and that's the that's the uh that's the the aris tense and the aris indicative active okay i suffered you understand what i'm saying And that's the Aris test, so he's using uh, secondary uh, Aris uh, uh, active uh, personal ending, though. Okay, this is in first, uh, first person singular, so you got new there as the personal ending. Only one letter, and then you have the sigma, and then nothing, and then mente, and then nu as your uh, primary, uh, not your primary, your secondary active personal ending so that's why that's a, that's 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 why there's a new here because that's a personal ending okay you understand what i'm saying so remember that i said that i grouped them together so i could remember them so i mean you're the aris and imperfect tenses 
has secondary personal endings, not primary personal endings, okay? The future, the present, and the perfect has primary active personal endings, you know... uh, you know your omega omega ace and a uh, your, your omega ace ace and a or your nothing sigma iota deal and your you know for the that's for the singular uh, the active uh, personal endings and you know men ten unsi and then for the for the that's your primary uh, 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 active personal endings and the primary passive personal endings let me see if I can remember them uh, your my side tie Okay. Uh, that's just a deal. Now, that's a, that's a grid uh, that contains uh, four boxes and they're filled with those uh, personal endings, you know? That's just a deal. Primary to the left uh, and uh, secondary, okay, personal endings to the right. Two boxes each, okay? For, and that's guy. For I suffered, okay, uh, let's see again. That's what, it'll be this one, don't, not wrong? Or, or, or will it be? Okay, no, it won't be that one, but it'll be close to it. No, I have to, no, no, it won't be close to it. This is remote, like, uh, <laughs> you know, a canine, you know, the rule of a canine, you know, it takes the remotest antecedent, <laughs> okay, you understand? All right, it's not a stretch track of the rule, but it's still, you know, it, you know, it's, it's, it's doubtful situations. It's helpful to have those rules hanging around. For okay, Gar, you know, first, uh, first John chapter five verse twenty, uh, the rule of Hutas uh, is very helpful there because that's found and recorded. Also, for Alagas being the antecedent of uh, of Hutas, you know what I'm saying? Ekenas. Uh, found and recorded in verse eighteen of that chapter, chapter one. Okay, um, uh, the rule of that works perfectly because if it didn't, if you didn't have that rule, you have the father executing the father. You know, so I'm saying you can't have that. Gar, okay, gar, uh, epathon, epathon. You understand what I'm saying? Epsilon, P, alpha, theta, now they call theta, omicron, now they call omicron, and nu, now they call ni. But I suffered, okay, today, okay. Severan today, oi in Spanish, you know what I'm saying? In a okay, kata or cat in a dream, anar in a dream. So, for many things in a dream, because of him, don't have anything to do with that righteous man. Now, in this dream, now we don't know this is the deal. It goes with that, that bag again for crying out loud. You know, I don't know if I'm gonna buy that though. I was, you know, I, I, I don't. Want you know, my wife is gonna have to pick it up somewhere else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't like to have my card number. You know, with all, you know, just everybody. Um, there's no angel of the Lord here. There's no being warmly. Uh, she was attacked in dreams. Attacked. So that's that's the meaning of this. You know, uh, suffered. Uh, many things. Uh, it was an attacking thing that she felt in the dream. You know, so when I saw she was scared to death. Oh, she can't witch and whine and complain. If something happened, because she was probably conspiring with a pilot and said, "Well, you know, something." I don't care if she was canonized or not. Um. I mean, I you know. Uh, you know, I, we don't want this guy hanging around because you're going to lose your job, okay, uh, to the Romans, I mean, to uh, to your superiors, because of your superiors judging you because it is man. So get rid of him anyway. You understand what I'm saying? This is, is causing riots and stuff like that and commotions, even though the Old Testament says he shall not raise his voice, you know, in the streets. Rather take uh, take the word of God at uh, face value than Pilate washed his hands. Blood is still on his hands until this very day. But the wife was probably the wife was probably in the crime. That's why she was attacked. Her conscience, you know, was was, was calling her or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't say it doesn't say she was warned in a dream. She just got attacked in these dreams. 
She had a nightmare in the middle of the night, man. She didn't even, she didn't even take out her curls. You know what I'm saying? She didn't even look at her face. She didn't even wash it, by the way, or whatever the case may be. She went to her husband and said, listen, don't do anything. I have nothing to do with this righteous man. The, 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 the dream said that he was righteous. I don't have nothing to do with that man. I mean, you know, I was wrong. I mean, I want you to get rid of the guy. But now, I mean, I'm being attacked. That's just a deal. But you, know, you don't see the angel of the Lord doing it or being warned by God. Now, wh what can I say about this? Listen. Joseph was... Joseph and the Magi. Let's just put it like this. Jo you have four dreams uh, recorded. I'm not going to give you the verses again, you know. Joseph had three dreams out of the four, and the Magi had one. They were both divinely warned by God. Says by God, nope, not by anybody else. So even though it doesn't have the article, but so why? So why doesn't it have the article? And so what? Jesus was in the custody. In the womb of Mary. So what? I mean, he could have been doing stuff outside. You know, as a matter of fact, he, he, you know, he spoke as a baby. I come to do thy will, a fellow, or whatever the case may be, oh God. In the vocative, he, he addressed a gay God just like God addressed him. You understand what I'm saying? That's just a deal. That's just it. That's just it. <laughs> That's just it. Well, um, so the rebuking of Dan Wallace, I mean, has its point, but because of, and it's always like this, because you, sometimes you have to rebuke somebody, something good comes out of it. The church acts, has to act. Whether people are denying the the, the foundational uh, doctrines uh, hammered out by B.B. Warfield at the, at the turn of the 20th century haven't been found in the Bible anyway, way before that. And um, the confessions, the confessions of faith, the articles, you know, of, 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 of faith, whatever the case may be, were hammered out because... Okay, of people uh, making statements. Okay, so I just think I just think that the situation that that brought us to these studies, and I mean I don't agree with Dan Wallace, but I mean the article, uh, the article video about Dan Wallace is still a treasure. So see it on YouTube. Okay, it has a blue sort of. Uh, uh, thumbnail okay blue and black or black and blue you understand what I'm saying this Angelo Quinone is giving glory to the God of Israel. God is not the God of the dead but of the living that means that Abraham Isaac and Jacob were very much at the, at the time that Jesus said those words please subscribe to my channel please give me a thumbs up and leave and please leave a comment on the screen thank you so much for this very interesting study Okay, what Dan Wallace said and um, about the so-called revisiting, okay, um, revisiting uh, certain things uh, that he said in his, his study that the church might have to revisit. Well, I revisited one of them now, and so that's just the deal. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. It's, it keeps us on our toes. It's Angelo Quinones. Take care, guys. Bye-bye now. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on the screen and give me a thumbs up and please uh, hit that notification button because when I come up with some more videos, you'll be the first to to know that I posted them. Okay. On uh, online. Thank you so much. Bye now. Bye. Blessings.